is is there a need for a, a new kind of robot generation that's easy to use, limited application, short life cycle, low price that doesn't need the high precision that you guys can offer? Is there a market for that kind of device? I think we will see an evolution of what we have, not a, not a tremendous change. Of course, lay, light weight, etc., that is coming, uh, but that there will be a total change in the market, there will be new type of robots, totally different. Uh, except for what we see today, I don't see too much of it. Of course, do alarms will come a lot more, uh, that's obvious. Um, but, you know, when you get into utilizing robots in, in more pick and place, you will sooner or later get into process applications of gluing, etc. And then uh, the accuracy will be needed. So I think we need to have both. With the scale effects we are seeing today, we are seeing also that the costs are coming down for producing these machines, making it a lot more accessible to a lot more users anyhow. And I think we need to differ. The electronic market, the product cycle, life cycle is much lower than the automotive <laughs> industry. Yeah. So such a mobile phone is maybe one year, I don't know. I would guess one year, latest two years, and it's thrown away. So therefore, you most probably need some robots which you throw away as well. <laughs> reuse, you know, reuse. <laughs> reuse. The automotive industry, they would probably need seven years uh, for one car. Six, seven years is a product life cycle. So that is much longer, and that uh -huh. needs to be differed. So are, are you working on these types of robots? Or are you going to away leave, robots? Throw, throw. Are you, are you <laughs> leave the market to Foxbot and Google? No, I mean, throw away robot is of course not, but the reuse is there. The, I mean, make them flexible so they can be reutilized for new production yeah. uh, setups. That's, that's of course the way forward. That, that's what we're doing. So we say that we, we were using our lines for a second life cycle to maximize the capital investment we did to the lines. So and even uh, we already reusing ro robots from our suppliers. Uh, for a second life cycle, so, uh, so actually have them in the field for around about 14 years, some, some of them depending on, uh, on, on the workload. Today we have the programming in industrial robot language, but in the future, and here we work very close to, we have one controller fr framework. We need a controller framework, uh, which is Sunrise for us, and it's, uh, the, pro the language is Java-based because we have 3 million community in Java and we have billions of devices which are connected between Jana, Java um, and the device. So it's very easy. So what we need is one platform on the one side and to adapt a different hardware for the, for the automotive industry. The requirements is 50,000 hours life cycle, lifetime. In the 3C, we have only 5,000. And also the cost is totally different. So you have to adapt different hardware. Mm -hmm. And from the technology side, yeah, in Java, everybody has the possibility to program an app and adapt it over the, yeah, the interface to the framework.